Would you like to know how you can make your forest ecologically more diverse? Then keep watching! Hello, my name is Steven Meyer. I'm a forestry advisor with Chagask. In this short video, I will give you 10 simple ideas to make your forest ecologically more diverse. Most of these measures are easy to achieve, but they will make a world of difference. Animals such as deer, cattle, sheep, horses and goats can do a lot of damage in a forest. They destroy the next tree generation by eating the young tree seedlings. They also strip the bark of the trees, giving pests and diseases a helping hand. Fungi, bacteria, lichens, mosses, insects and birds are essential links in any healthy woodland ecosystem. They often depend on lying and standing dead trees as a source of food, shelter or as nesting sites. Allow plants such as nettles, briars and ivy to flourish. They provide a very important food source for many moth and butterfly species. They are also very valuable ground cover and food for many birds. Trees such as willows and oak are ecologically very valuable. Also consider trees that bear loads of flowers and berries such as rowan or elder. The Chagisk Forestry website has a handy tree selector to help you choose. Many birds, bats or butterflies will use open areas in or adjoining your woodland as a feeding and sunning site, while the neighboring trees will provide shelter, nesting sites and lookout posts. By thinning your forest, you are letting more light reach the forest floor. This will attract more plants and animals, also encouraging the next generation of trees to develop. New tree saplings will have a much better chance to develop once you've thinned your forest. You can add to this emerging shrub layer by underplanting with shade tolerant trees, such as hazel and holly. You can greatly increase the ecological value of your woodland by connecting it with other nearby habitats. By doing so, you're allowing plants and animals to move across the countryside. If possible at all, avoid clear felling your forest. Instead, consider adapting to a continuous cover forest management system. It's easy to grow your own trees from seed or from cuttings. It's also a lot of fun. For inspiration, look around you what trees are doing well locally. Most of these measures are simple and easy to do, but will have a big impact. So I hope that this short video will encourage you to make your woodland ecologically more diverse.